for killing my audience, Twitch. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands, Central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Thank you for coming back. I wish Twitch would not be so twitchy. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. Of course you're gonna think that, Welka. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right. I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius. Selvaria, be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. <laughs> What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Here we go. Hey, great. What did he find? 
a map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Wilkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? <laughs> hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Uh, maybe hold poo again, are you? Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. <laughs> la 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 That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh. Just a song I sang, back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air. Put them up, Porkins. Mike? It's a pig? It looks like a Porcavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? It's a pork avian, a flying pig. I find that amusing. Aww. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? I found the mom. That's the good news. There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Oh. Even all the way out here, the war's still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! <laughs> Alright, let's save since I apparently struggled with that last time. Here is a brief on the task at hand. The enemy supply base is located in the east end of these woods tucked behind a tight defensive line. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it and cut off their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base head on with your tank while foot soldiers take the northern path behind the enemy's back. Your objective is to occupy the enemy base's camp. Tread carefully. I suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. You should be able to see them, but be careful. Accidentally stepping on one can mean major damage. An engineer can dismantle the landmines by approaching it and pressing the OK button when the command appears. Also, remember that a tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. That's another way to clear the road. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on a larger anti-tank mine unharmed, but a tank will take tread damage. We've heard word that enemy backup is approaching even now, so get out there and claim that base fast. Okay, 
Victory is capture the base. Failure is welcome dies, or they let we let them take our base. And again, smaller groups are better. So we need to have as many people as we can up this way. And we just have our tank down here. All right, let's see if we can do it with this small of a group. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. About team attacks. Sometimes when units near allies attack, those allies will join in with supporting fire. Up to three units can team up, and their support fire costs comes at no CP cost. The units in your squad each have specific other members that they like especially well. Teaming up with those units will result in exceptionally powerful attacks. Staging a team attack against crouching enemies will be a smart way to defeat them. However, bunching up for team attacks can leave your soldiers open to powerful area attacks from grenades and mortars. Know when to group up for offense and when to stay spread out for defense. Here we go! Hostile sighted! I always like to scout first with items. Enemy sighted! Anti-tank gunnery sighted on the north bank. Pushing ahead could prove dangerous. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Wait to see what they'll do. Now! Been waiting here. So Largo going first.